welcome to TonyWilliams.com As I always say at the start of all my videos, I hope some of the materials that we're able to share on this site can get an average person like myself going from a place of good to greatness as we strive to reconstruct ourselves to build a legacy for ourselves that's obviously sustainable and that would hopefully last. Do you know, I've always thought to myself the world is quite a noisy place. I mean, there's so much things out there that are struggling for our mind, our attention, our focus. You know, there's so much things in our face that just want to get us distracted by any means necessary. And I figured that um, in general, as just normal individuals or up and coming people or someone who's striving you know, to attain a goal of success in life in any field uh, at all. Because the world is such a noisy place, it's so much more difficult for you to be heard or known or remembered. Um, if you look at a situation where someone's in a football stadium or a concert or, you know, wherever there's such a loud crowd and there's a lot of noise, you know, in order to, to speak to probably the person who's next to you, you you've got to raise your voice or, you know, you, you, you can't just be on a normal tone, you've got to raise your voice and I figured that's how the world is today. You know, because there's so much noise, you know, it's it's difficult for people to just hear you on a normal voice. It's difficult for people to just know you if you're doing the same thing. It's difficult for people to discover you if, you know, you're not putting or exerting an extra level of pressure onto that goal or persistence onto that goal or that wish that you want fulfilled. And in general, I figured the only way in which we could do this in a, a manner that is probably sustainable um, is to start with ourselves. It, it, it's to start by, first of all, knowing and being specific exactly about what we want to be known about or what we want to be remembered for. We've got to be specific about what exactly we're putting out there. You know, this is what I want to be remembered for. This is what I want to be known for. We can't, you know, just be known for, you know, sort of a, a jack of all trade, master of non attitude. We've got to be very specific. You know, Bill Gates, known for computers. Zuckerberg, known for Facebook. Oprah Winfrey, known for, for. Uh, her talk show and so we've got to be very specific because that's the only way we could sort of break away from the crowd that's the only way we could sort of brand ourselves in a way that the minute your name or your brand or your logo is seen mentioned or talked about someone could just click and know that this is that person but in order to do that, I figured as individuals, we need to be very passionate about what we do, first of all. And secondly, we have to be able to understand ourselves. And when I say understand ourselves, I'm not just talking about, you know, saying, yeah, I, I need myself, yeah, you know, I could do this, I could do that, I could do whatever, you know. It's, it's a more deeper insight, it's a more deeper look into who we are as individuals. It's, it's about knowing our strengths and our weaknesses, about knowing our limitations, knowing what ticks us and what you know makes us calm, you know, knowing where the heights that we could go up to and the heights that we could break down at, you know, having a deeper search within our mind, our soul, you know, looking at ourselves in the mirror and not forgetting ourselves the minute we leave that mirror, you know, just knowing who we are as individuals. Because it's only then that when we go on a journey, you know, we are confident or we have the strength or we have the mindset to know that, you know, 
whatever the obstacles, I have the strength to complete this journey, or whatever the mindset, or whatever might come my way, whatever the ups and downs, you know, I'm more than capable. I have not more energy in my reserve tank to carry on. I have more tenacity, you know, even though I drop 50 times, I could still, you know, go on 54 or 55 times. And it's only then that we build the self-confidence because after, you know, we have, we know within ourselves that we have the energy to carry on. We actually then have confidence. So no matter what comes our way, no matter what you know, seems like it's seemed, it's quite impossible. You're confident that it's only a temporary phase, and that tomorrow, you know, it's going to be a better day. You know that it's just a stumbling block. But how do we discover ourselves? You know, how do we, how do we, how do we know? How do we seek and find that inner strength? There are a number of ways, a few ways in which I think, you know, are quite easy is to constantly ask yourself, who am I? Where am I? You know, and I've all said this once already, be in a constant awareness of yourself every moment, you know, try and find a meaning into it. You know, because when you ask yourself questions, where am I? Am I at the right place where I'm supposed to be at this point in time. Do you know, you could answer yourself that question truthfully. Because if you take a moment of silence where there's no noise and you look back at your life up onto the spot where you ask that question, you'll be able to see what I probably might term as a graphic picture of how far you've come, where you are now, and where you want to be. And if you're in line with that, you could tick all the boxes. If you're not in line with that, you could easily connect the dots backwards and realize where you've gone wrong. The thing is, dots can't be connected going forward. As they say, everything in life has brought us up to a point. Everything happens for a reason. So everything that has happened has brought us up to that point. At the point where we learn to start discovering ourselves, the point where we learn to start understanding ourselves, the point where we learn to think we're not just junk, we're actually a being with a creative mind in us. At that very point, it's self-discovery. It's like the story of the prodigal son in the Bible of, you know, who went to his father at one point and said, give me everything that's due to me. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm going off, you know. And he went off and he squandered everything that was given to him for his inheritance. And uh, sometime along the line, you know, it, it dawned on him that, you know, after being in sort of abject poverty for God knows how many more years, you know, it wasn't really said, you know, in the story. But, you know, self-realization came upon him and he realized, you know, why am I here? I am a son of blah, 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 a rich man, you know. Why am I here eating with the pigs and feeding off crumbs of people's table? You know, I could do more better than myself. I am going to go back to my father and apologize. But the point I'm trying to put is not the point of him even going back to his father to apologize or, you know, it's, or him just thinking, oh, you know, uh, I'm a son of a rich man or anything. He got to a point where self-realization, if that part of the story was taken out, he'd be in the same place. We got to get to that place in life where we ask ourselves that question. It's it, it's an honest question where we we have to 
to be honest in answering back in return. Where am I today as in the journey of my life, as in the goals that I set for myself, as in the plans that I want to have for my future? Am I in the right place? As in the plans that I have for my marriage, as in the plans that I have for you know, my family, for my career, where am I at this point? It's a question where you have to ask yourself in a moment of silence. Do you know, if you wake up every morning and you ask yourself that question often enough, or you ask yourself a question like, if I was to die tomorrow or today, would I be doing what I am going to do, do today? If you find yourself asking yourself that question on a regular basis, and you really realize or truthfully realize that the answers are no, no, no too often, then it's time to make a change. But the beauty of it is that's where your self-realization dawns on you. That's where your subconscious mind, who already knows where you're meant to be, who knows and tells your objective mind, that you are not in that place. That's where it shows you a picture of where you are, or your objective mind shows you a picture of where you are, and your subconscious mind paints a picture of where you should be. Isn't it ironic that some people are given so many things in life, from the start of their life, some people were born into wealth, some people were born, you know, they, they, they were born into wealth, they went to the best schools, had great parents, you know, had everything at their disposal when they were, when they were young. You know. But the minute they come under that umbrella of their parents and they get into the real world in their adult age, they're just the worst people to be around. They, they, you know, nothing's happening for them. They're all over the place. They just can't sustain themselves. But yet then you have someone who, at the same vein, or ironically I should say, has had a bad you know, upbringing, probably abused mentally, physically, emotionally, had every single obstacle against him, you know, whilst he was growing up, probably didn't even go to school or dropped out of school or something. But they turn out to be the darlings of the society and then you ask yourself if on paper the way you're brought up or the family you're born into or the wealth that you're at, at your disposal is a prerequisite for how you're going to end up in life why doesn't it balance out it just simply shows that it's not the difference between these two people is self-realization. It's a passionate thought about everyone individually knowing who you are, realizing who you are, discovering that purpose for your life by a deep inner interaction with your true self every day, repeatedly. Do you know they say practice makes perfect? I love to use that word. If you continue something long enough, you would be an expert at it. You know, you start a job, no matter what the skills you have, not until you get going, you know, when you're doing it on a regular basis, you actually develop that confidence you know, even then your employer develops confidence in you and it's only then and after then that they could leave you to do things yourself knowing fully well that you know what you're doing and that's the same way we're trying to find ourselves it's not something we could just sit down and ask ourselves once it's something we need to keep asking ourselves as often as possible 
because when we ask ourselves these questions as often as possible, we begin to daily find the answers. We begin to daily find, you know, that okay, this is where I'm meant to be. This is not where I'm meant to be. And we, we, we find answers that we could even tweak. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, because if our circumstances have changed and we have a higher goal for ourselves, there's no reason why we shouldn't add it onto it. And that's basically how it works. So in order to discover ourselves, in order to know ourselves, we've got to search our heart on a regular basis. You know, we've got to be thankful for what we have now. Don't be shaped by your past. As I said, it's never a prerequisite for our future. Don't let the opinions of others drown out the inner voice in somehow that inner voice already knows where you want to be it knows where you're meant to be but if you let the noise on the outside grow louder than the inner voice and the intuition on the inside you probably would end up on the sides that you don't want to be I hope this short post blesses someone as I always say if there's any comments you'd like to make, please drop them in the boxes below. Feel free to visit the website, Tony Williams with an extra s.com or our Facebook page or YouTube channel. And if you're on any of those pages, kindly like or subscribe to the channel. Until I speak to you again, hope you have a fantastic day. Good night and God bless.